We've done it. We've got a manager going forward into the 2021-22 season. Russell Martin, the former MK Dons manager, has now officially been announced by Swansea City and confirmed by MK Dons as the current and going forward manager of Swansea City for this season. Um, with only a week to go until the official season starts, uh, we finally, uh, after a long sort of stressful search, now got our manager in place for the season. Uh, it's an exciting announcement. It's a, a manager that probably not an awful lot of people know about unless you're sort of in the lower leagues. Um, but Russell Martin, 35-year-old 35 35-year-old English-born manager, um, likes to play passing, pressing, and certainly possession-style football. Um, he earned an awful lot of plaudits last season for that sort of style. Um, it's, it's an exciting announcement. You know, It's probably one of the, the managers that an awful lot of the Swansea fan base have... Um, and you know, and not vo being vocal on Twitter and online, saying who they want out of anybody. There was a few other names being thrown around, but um, as far as you know, sort of a realism sort of appointment. Robert Martin was certainly that type of manager that the fans wanted. Um, reading online, his 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 managerial approach is exactly what this club needs. We need to start rebuilding our identity. We need someone who can play attractive football um, while bringing in results. Um, so his preferred p sort of formations are either a 3 4 2 one or a 3 5 two, which will suit us down to the ground with our players that we've got. Um, so hopefully we'll get to see some more en entertaining and um, better football down at the Liberty Stadium. An awful lot of people weren't too happy with um, what Cooper was bringing onto the pitch. Though we were getting results, you know, back-to-back -back playoffs two seasons in a row, the football was not eye-catching whatsoever. Um, so hopefully that does improve on the pitch. Um, from what I've also read online is that he likes to improve on the current game plan rather than changing it. Certainly in one of his interviews he was asked, um, what's your plan B? Um, he doesn't announce that he has a plan B. Obviously he would like to set in stone a, um, a style of play with the formations, with those certain players. And if something goes wrong, he takes ownership for it. He wants to build on that. He wants to improve that rather than hitting the panic button and switching up formations, you know, making multiple changes for the next game. So it, it is somebody who I think the Swans fans can get excited about. Um, you know, MK Dons finished 13th last season. His first season in appointment um, came at the unfortunate, um, you know, sudden sort of stoppage of the season, the season before 2019-2020, uh, where, you know, the world, the world sort of stood still for a while um, a few of the the lower leagues uh, ended ended early they finished 19th in league one but last season was his full season um in the job at mk dons and he did a great job you know he led them up to 13th in the table where they finished um and he implored it around you know europe certainly for his style of play um only man city and barcelona finished that season with a higher percentage of possession um, so it is absolutely fantastic to see. You know, it's, a, it's an exciting announcement. Hopefully the fans at Swansea can get behind him. Um, an awful lot of MK Dons fans that I've seen on Twitter are very disappointed to be losing him, as certainly at this, this um, you know, how close it is to the start of their season. But we've been through that ourselves as Swansea fans. We've lost managers who have been absolutely fantastic for us. Managers we don't necessarily want to move on to bigger and better things, but that has happened. Um, I think the, the fan base was almost sort of split as far as you know Cooper departing. Um, for me, I was a bit disappointed that he did depart. I liked the guy. Um, I liked what he was doing with the club, with his contacts, where he got us in the league. But as you say, as fans, you want to see your team playing well as well as sort of getting results. But sometimes you can't always have your cake and eat it uh, unless you're a powerhouse you know, throughout Europe. But uh, saying that, um, so he started his football career um, in the Brighton Youth Academy, moving on then to lose, uh, moving to Wickham, Peterborough, Norwich, Rangers, Walsall, and then finally to MK Dons um, for a one-year contract in which then he took over at the end of that season as the manager, um, announcing his retirement in November 2019. So he's, his, MK Dons was only his first managerial job. He's you know started off very well, to be fair to him. This now is a step up, regardless of what people are saying online coming to Swansea is a step up, it's a bigger league. Hopefully he can be given some sort of financial support. Yes, we've made a couple of signings already and we've spent a little bit of money, um, but hopefully he gets given the time uh, and the resources, what he needs to you know, take us to that next level, uh, whether it is a bit more stability at the club, uh, a bit more of attractive football, 
whatever it needs to be. But hopefully he can get the backing of the board and certainly Ju Julian Winter. Um, but as I say, yeah, he's, his first full season in charge led um, MK Dons to 13th in League One. So not a, you know, a huge, huge achievement uh, by any means. But granted that, you know, the season before was their first season back in League One. He's doing a good job. He's done a good job there. And the fans are certainly upset to be losing him. So with that being said, um, Russell, welcome to Swansea City. As I say, hopefully it's a successful uh, term here with us. Hopefully it's, you know, you can build on it and it's a long one. Um, we had Cooper for two seasons. So it would be nice to have a bit more stability um, on the coaching staff. And hopefully we can, um, you know, achieve good things with that. I'm not expecting an immediate effect, to be fair to him. You know, our squad is pretty thin at the moment. We haven't got massive squad depth. We haven't got the most prolific or exciting players. We do have a good core of players. Um, and with that, hopefully the appointment of Russell Martin, they can both gel together and we can look forward to an exciting season. And who knows what can happen. It's a long old season. Um, hopefully it'll be a successful one come the end. But yeah, just a quick video to announce that Russell Martin is officially the Swansea City manager. Really looking forward to what you can bring to the team. And yeah, we're starting off pre-season friendly today with Southampton. So hope you enjoyed the vlog for that. Um, that will obviously have been out before I've been hope well be out maybe just after I have released this video, preparing this for when he does get announced after the game today. He has one final game in charge today. Um, as I say, the, the, the MK Dons fans don't particularly want him in charge for that one if he's going to be announced as the Swansea manager. But it's on them now to go out and search for a new manager with you know just under a week to go before the uh, the season kicks off. But hopefully, you know, transfer windows open for a while. Hopefully, we can bring in some players and the resources that we need. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Just a quick short video announcement video. So please do hit that thumbs up button. Do consider subscribing to the channel if you are new trying to get to 2500 by the end of this season um it would be great to have you on board so thank you very much guys catch you on the next one